watching Friday Night Blitz on NBC 26. Welcome to Friday Night Blitz. We've passed the midpoint of the high school season, ladies and gentlemen, and you can tell the execution is getting better. The plays bigger in the game of the week. Well, that's still brought to you by Chris Barrier. It's about that point in the high school football season where the haves separate themselves from the have nots. Tonight we feature a pair of teams that seem to have what it takes to win the West Appear Phantoms against the Xavier Hawks, both battling for position within the Bay Conference and both doing so under the spotlight as our game of the week. One, two, three, one. West Appear is 4 0, ranked fifth in the state in Division Three and the favorite in this game. But don't tell Xavier that. The 3 and 1 Hawks believe they have what it takes to pull off an upset. Didn't take long for the Phantoms to impose their will. Opening kickoff, Tristan Jindra begins at the five yard line and he's got a journey in front of him. Bouncing off a tackle at midfield, Jindra goes 95 yards for the touchdown. 8 0 West after a two point conversion. First drive for the Hawks and Xavier has the answer. Quarterback Hunter Plowman decides to keep the ball himself. Great blocking in front of him. He'll take the side route 55 yards to the house. More Hunter Plowman still in the first half. This time he drops the snap. That's okay. Gets it back and chucks that baby to Sam Ferris right in the wheelhouse. Plowman scored next play, but West Appear led it half after the break. Now, we'd like to introduce you to West Appear quarterback Josh Blount. This kid is a freshman. Watch him cut like butter through traffic. Finds pay dirt and he wasn't done yet. Fourth quarter, Blount working out of the shotgun. Draws left, nothing but green grass in front of him and there he goes. Led by a ninth grader, West Appear wins and improves to 5-0. and Yeah, we played a really good football team tonight. Xavier, they torched us on defense. Thank God our offense came through for us again. We gotta figure out how to cover a pass, but uh, good to be 5-0. and and now we make the very difficult transition from football to more football. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I am a professional. Get your taped up ankles ready. Undefeated GB Southwest hosting the Jaguars of Ash Wabanon up 7-0 in the first. And the Trojans driving again. Allen Bunker handed the pill and this kid ready to pop. Gets the edge and then some darting back inside. Eventually he gets taken down at the 20 yard line and that effort leads directly to this very next play. Nick Howard slicing right through the heart of the defense. Everybody seems to be a second late dives for the goal line and he gets it 14 nothing Southwest. They go on to win 38 26. A lot of flannel in the crowd at Bayport. The Pirates looking to stay perfect this year against a tough Pulaski squad in this game. Not lacking for highlights. First quarter Isaac Kraus figures you know what if I just run in a straight line this might work 45 yards on the QB keeper and it's 14 nothing Bayport but the Red Raiders aren't looking to just lay down and die Dustin Graff fools everyone including our cameraman and he gets to go and he's got the keeper there to the tune of 90 yards 14 7 contest now in the second you saw him do it with the legs how about the arm Graff flicking it downfield into the patiently waiting hands of Kendall Parks. Game all square 14 14 and I did mention the highlights. They're worth watching. How about Isaiah Gash call him the bullfighter Olay leaving defenders clutching for air and Gash is gone. They go on to win 48 27 and it is time to take a break. But when we return Kelly Price joins the show with a slew of games that you've got to see to believe the blitz continues next. Welcome back. You know, the only thing better than one trip to touch downtown is more trips to touch downtown. Kelly Price, I understand you have highlights for us. Week five, Charlie, we're over the hump more than halfway through the high school football season, and these conference matchups are heating up. Lots of good matchups up and down northeast Wisconsin tonight. So we take you now to Appleton North, where this guy is getting a bicep workout of a lifetime because only 3.15 to play in the first half. Lightning tricked me on this play. 
Ryan Balk must have also tricked the Patriots defense because he goes 45 yards for the score, just adding to the lead 35 to 7. But wait, there's more. 2.04 left before half. Tyler Holmes picks off Mason Freebie. Great field position for North there on the 46 yard line. Next play, 148 left on the clock. Proves to be plenty of time for a connection from Carter Robinson to Joel Burkert to go all the way. And it turns out lightning strikes much more than twice in this one because it's 42 to 7 at the half. But Appleton North pumps the brakes after halftime. Final score, 49 to 7. To the Bantable. Appleton West honoring former Badger John Holman. He was a big part of the Big Ten champ team back in 1962, drafted by the Broncos in 1965. Picking it up halfway through the first quarter. Kimberly strikes first. DJ Stewart on a two-yard touchdown. He had plenty of yards on that first drive. Makers go up 7-0. But Appleton West kept at it. QB Alec Gofford trying his darndest to get to the promised land. His terrorists end up settling for a field goal here. Score is 7-3 on that one. Next drive, Makers quarterback, another Alec, Rosner this time, using his legs, and then he just keeps using them. A 60-yard score for the senior, and Kimberly extends its lead to 14-3 near the end of the first half, and that lead sticks. Makers keep the streak alive and win 56-24. To Fox Valley Lutheran, the Tigers and Foxes of Wrightstown, the lone unbeaten teams in the Northeastern Conference. In the first half, high snap, but Isaac Gerhardt on the catch. And he fumbles. Wrightstown's Mason Cousseau is responsible for that. But the Foxes got another chance. Zane Roden call here on a 50-yard touchdown run. But it wasn't enough. Wrightstown wins this one 16-7. That's all I've got. I'll send it back to you at the desk, Sir Charles. And now, folks, time for a break. But I'm telling you, I'm begging you, stick with us. The play of the week is next here on The Blitz. And finally tonight, one last order of business, the play of the week. But who is it? What school does he play for? Let's find out together. And boy, I can't say I'm surprised. Opening kickoff of the West to Pier game. Credit Tristan Jindra with the 95-yard score. But give those blockers on special teams a whole lot of credit as well. I do think I would have collapsed at this last part if it had happened to me. So Jindra does that, gets it. It is your play of the week. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget this weekend is the game against the Falcons in Atlanta. We will be on site. Our early coverage starts at five.